about 90 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, a shallow warm sea flooded the land and sand was deposited on the bottom. When organisms swimming in the water or living on the bottom died, their hard parts were buried by the sand and eventually fossilized. Over a period of several million years, the sea level lowered and the sand bottom of the ocean was exposed to erosion. Streams carved a hilly landscape, leaving extensive marine sandstone called the Chico Formation. About 13 million years ago, conditions changed. Faulting allowed lava to pour out onto the surface of the earth, traveling great distances. The lava flowed down the stream valley. Over time, the lava hardened, leaving behind a very fine, crystalline, black, almost glassy basalt that formed into layers in the stream channel. This is now known as the Lovejoy Formation. Volcanic activities outside of the region occurred again about four million years ago. Sequences of slow-moving streams from the volcanic terrain brought interblended mud flows, sand, and other sediments into the area. Continuous deposition by the streams alternatively covered the area with a thick blanket of sandstone. This is now known as the Lower Tuscan Formation. These mud flows formed rocks called volcanic breccias. These alternating layers of conglomerate and volcanic breccias created the prominent cliffs at the top of the Tuscan Formation. This formation is seen along Big Chico Creek in the Bidwell Park region. 